Uh, please, uh, Miss Warbucks, I finished my spreadsheets. It's Christmas Eve, and, well, I'd like to go home to my family. Your family? Your family? What's more important, Hodgkiss, your job or your family? Oh, oh well, Miss Warbucks, I, I, I think... Of course you think, Hodgkiss. It's why I hired you. Work is the answer. Work! For pity's sake, man, did you ever hear of someone on his deathbed saying, Oh, if only I'd spent more time with my family? Of course not! Two hours till the midnight deadline, sir. I don't think we can make it. Then don't think. We'll make it, as long as everything runs smoothly. Uh-oh. Copier's down, sir. No need to panic. Punjab will fix it. Punjab! The fax machine's on the fritz also. Don't panic. Punjab will fix this, too. Punjab! And what about the computer? Now we can panic. Punjab! Punjab! Where in Helena, Montana is he? Punjab! Gee, thanks, mister. God bless you, Punjab. Merry Christmas, my friends. Ah, uh, time to call it an evening. I've given away all my food and gifts, but for this last T-bone steak and this child's dress. If it isn't Annie's ugly mutt. Yeah, and there's no sign of Annie around here anywhere. Then let's chase him out of the neighborhood so she'll never find her dog again. Here we come, you filthy animal! <laughs> Tornado. You try and hurt my dog and I'll sock you right in your nose. <laughs> the little flaming haired fury has both a heart of gold and a mean left hook. You got something to say? Say it. Okay. Merry Christmas. Yeah, right. What's the catch? Permit me to explain. I am Punjab, bodyguard and confidant of Oliver Warbucks. Oliver Warbucks? City? Oliver Warbucks, as in the richest man in the world. This dress and this steak are gifts that... We don't accept gifts from strangers. We will not be strangers. Be our guest at the Warbucks mansion tonight for our tree lighting and a special Christmas Eve midnight supper. I don't get in a car with a stranger, even if it is a limousine. Oh, I see the dilemma, little orphan. Annie! I see the dilemma, little orphan. Annie, perhaps if you consult with the policeman, the police can vouch for Mr. Warbucks and me. I'll check with them. If they say you're cool, then I guess it would be fun to see what a real mansion looks like. can come true, little orphan. Annie, you will love the atmosphere of this house, and you will love Mr. Warbox. Punjab, where were you? I needed you! You're fired! Now quick, come and fix all our office equipment. I I'm sorry, it's my fault he fired you. Oh, he does that every day. He doesn't mean it. And what have you dragged in tonight? A little girl? 
A street urchin? Has the whole world gone crazy? Get her out of here, and I mean now! Do not go. I don't stay where I'm not welcome, and that bald dude just ordered me out of here. He didn't mean it. I'd hate to be around that guy when he means something he says. Here, these are my two pets. You and Sandy can play with them while you wait. Wow, I never saw nothing like these guys. They look like little green dinosaurs. What are they? They are lizards. They can turn color and blend into their surroundings. And they have one other great ability. <laughs> <laughs> they can leap great heights at any given moment. They are leaping lizards. Yes, exactly. And here is something else for you. I think you will like this Christmas present. Here's the bottom line, Punjab. The latest government big shot is subcontracted out to me, a huge job worth big bucks. I get to dismantle all the pork in the national budget. Trouble is, if I don't close this deal by midnight, it's off. So do your best, Punjab. Fix everything. As you wish, Mr. Warbucks. Punjab, everything is back to normal. We can still close this deal in the next 20 minutes if nothing else goes wrong. Uh, uh, Leaping lizards! This is great! I've never been on rollerblades before! What's this? Oh no! Sorry, Mr. Warbucks, I. Grab that crazy kid! She's fired! Somebody sue her! Get her out of here now! Out! Out! Wait, little orphan Annie. Come back. He didn't mean it. I sure as shooting dead. What in thunder's wrong with my staff tonight, Punjab? Every one of them was scowling at me when they went home. You'd think I'd did something wrong. Wrong? Absolutely. You did your thinking with your wallet tonight, not with your heart. And what's that supposed to mean? Your lack of compassion toward the child on Christmas Eve has created a dark disturbance on the mystic plane. The spirits have become restless. Now if you'll excuse me, sir. It's 1 a.m. Where are you off to? I'm off to search for the little orphan, Annie. Oh, she'll turn up. Nothing's gonna happen to her. It's Christmas Eve. All the bad people are... Home in bed, yes, I know. Good night, sir. window open. Punjab! It's snowing in my room. Come close the window. It, it can't be! I, I must be having a nightmare! Hear me, Oliver Warbucks. I am your last clear chance. The Asp, my loyal bodyguard. The best hatchet man a CEO could have. But, but, you're dead! I've come back this night to warn you. Beware, Oliver. Beware! Who, who threatens me, Ash? Is there no hope for me? You will soon realize who threatens you so. And yes, there is still hope for you. If you heed the spirit who visits you next. The spirit of today's Christmas. Yes, I will. But, but come with me. Don't go away. What if the spirit is some hideous ghost? I may have a zit or two, thank you very much, but my braces just came off. Uh, my apologies, miss. I'm surprised. I was expecting something very different. Well, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Just my luck. My life is riding on a spirit from the beyond. So what do they send me? 
A teenage ghost with pimples who quotes old movies. Oh, like it's getting late. We gotta go. Come on, follow me before I get yelled at again. Just wait a couple of minutes, miss. I'll get dressed and be right with you. Oh, that's not necessary. Everyone who hangs out with spirits always floats around in their nightshirts. It's like tradition. That's fine for them, but Oliver Warbucks goes nowhere without his pants. Okay, okay, chill out. I'll wait, but I'm gonna get yelled at, maybe even grounded because of you. Leaping lizards! You must have made a wrong turn somewhere, miss. This is a terrible neighborhood. Very dangerous. But this is where we'll find what we're looking for, you know? Hey, stop! There's the girl! Over there! But that little orphan... Angie. Annie! Annie! Her name is Annie! Easy there, spirit. You'll strain your ectoplasm. I'm sorry. Yes, her name is Annie. Now, can we help the kid out? Not tonight. We're invisible to everyone. All we can do is watch. <sighs> All right, I get it. We can see them. They can't see us. Take me down and let's see what's what. <sighs> well... It isn't exactly the Christmas Eve dinner I thought we'd have tonight, Sandy, but these stale donuts are pretty good. What's she doing outside? She'll freeze to death. And eating donuts for Christmas Eve dinner? Why isn't she in some fine orphanage? Good question. Let's check it out. This is Newton's Orphanage for Girls. This is where little orphan Annie will wind up tonight when she can't take the cold. And she'll have everything she needs here? Look around you. She'll have her own cot, her own pillow, her own blanket, her own uniform, three meals a day. But look how many kids they have to care for. She's tough. She'll get by. Oh, thank goodness there's Annie now. She did have the good sense to come in out of the snow. Well, at least they provide for her. Sure they do, but no one dries her tears or tucks her in. No one tells her to take her vitamin or gives her hugs. They don't? Then who loves her? We have to go. My time's almost up. Don't you understand? Who will be there to guide her and, and love her so one day she can become a lovely teenager, a, a good person like... like you? Ask the spirit of future Christmas. Goodbye, Daddy Warbucks. Goodbye, Annie. <gasps> I'm back on the roof of my mansion. But look at that. I've traveled through time. This is the future. It could be. Oh, uh, hello, miss. Doctor, <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. And a pretty good one, if I say so myself. Sorry, doctor. But you can call me Anne. All right, Anne. Now, is this the future that will be, or might be? That's up to you. And every single person on Earth. Your decisions and actions will determine the future. Hmm. Well, this mansion, is it still my home? Actually, now it's my home. Oh, I, uh, sold it to you? Come, look at what a wonderful place your home has become. Good Lord, what have you turned my home into? A gigantic daycare center? <laughs> no, Warbucks Kids World is a foundation. We bring together talented kids from all over the world, many of whom are orphans and disadvantaged. We hope to inspire them to become future scientists, researchers, and inventors. And it's all being done in my name, from my home with, um, how is this funded? I've channeled the Warbucks family fortune entirely into this foundation. I thought you would like that. Hmm. You know how I think. You live in my house. You've apparently inherited my money. Could you possibly be my daughter? Well, does anybody in your family have bright red hair? Actually, 
When I was a young man, I had a full head of bushy bright red hair. You did? You never told me that. Leaping lizards! Aha! Caught you! It's you, the little orphan Annie. All grown up. You did all this? No, you did it. It was your money. This wasn't accomplished by money. It was accomplished by compassion. A very smart man, smarter than me, once told me to think not with my wallet, but with my heart. That is exactly what you've done, Anne. I guess you raised me the right way, Daddy Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks? That's what the teenage spirit called me. The pretty one with the pimples and the bright red hair? Yes, how do you... Leaping lizards! She was you! I mean, she was you when you were a teenager. I mean, she was Orphan Annie when she became a teenager. I mean, oh, I don't know what I mean. Little Orphan Annie may very well grow up to be me one day, if she survives the streets and life in the orphanage. But, but, but will she? She will if you help her, if you become the parent she never had. If Oliver Warbucks becomes Daddy Warbucks? I can picture that now. I almost forgot. She ran out of the house tonight. I drove her out. I must go back immediately and find her before it's too late. Goodbye, Daddy Warbucks. The future, my future, depends on you. Annie! What, uh, was I dreaming? Oh, no matter. I've got to go and find that girl. Punjab! Mr. Warbucks, I searched all night long, but I failed to find the little orphan, Annie. We'll find her, Punjab. We have to! Oh, give the bells, sweet Christmas bells, ring round clear. Christmas is here. Oh, give the bells, sweet Christmas bells, ring round clear. Christmas is here. Singing a song, singing a song, so we'll have a little cheer. Ring Christmas bell, your story tell for all to hear. News that is dear. Here on the sound of the bells, for all to hear. Blue sky, 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 blue sky